No. You can't give up. Dad's counting on you. Uh. You've got to figure out who's behind these origami cards. Awesome. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to make it to Gigi's funeral, but uh, Matthew had a setback. Nora and I had to take him to a new rehab facility in Philly. Sorry to hear that. He's gonna be okay? That's the plan. How are you doing? Fine. Why? I don't know, maybe it's just the setting, but, uh... You look a little different. you're doing why are you sneaking into mr. Manning's office who are you who are you I'm Vimal Patel I'm mr. Manning's new associate are you that's great your parents must be very proud I I, I will need to see some ID though or I will have to call security look I know you didn't want to uh... Gigi's heart to go to Clint, and I understand that, but to trade her heart for his house, all his assets? He's my father, I'm just taking what's mine. Well, and he owes you, there's no doubt about that, but to pin the man to his deathbed, that, it's not you, Balsam. Well, so maybe I've changed. Maybe having Gigi killed by a heartless punk who got away with it because his daddy's rich, maybe that changed me. Maybe I finally see the world for what it really is. It's brutal, unless you have enough money to protect the people you love. They took Gigi, they almost took Shane. You can understand why I want to protect them. Yeah, you want to protect Shane, I understand that. And I'm with you on Jack Manning, but he's not better off from all of this, and you know that, because you're a dad, you can't, protect your kid from his own mistakes. And Jack's gonna find that out the hard way. If there's any justice. What's this really all about, boss? What the hell kind of name is origami cogs anyway? Food. That's what I need. Okay, relax. You don't you don't need to call security. I have every right to be here. We haven't been introduced. My name is Kent. Nicholas Kent. So why are you sneaking into Mr. Manning's well, office? I didn't Nicholas want to disturb Kent. him. I mean, you know how he gets. Yes, he values his privacy. Do you have an appointment? I don't need an appointment. I'm the trash collector. Maintenance? Sure, if you want to put it that way. Well, usually the maintenance men around here wear uniforms. They also have collection cards. There's something more driving you, Balsam. What is it? By the time I'm done, Jack will know how it feels to lose his mother, and Todd will know how it feels to lose his wife. You know, John suspects that Manning paid off Brad's father so that Brad would take the rap. So, do you blame me for wanting to have enough money to protect my son? I'm sorry that the department wasn't able to nail Jack Manning. Not yet. But you're right. Sometimes money will corrupt the system, but it doesn't fix everything. Now, look at me. I've got plenty of money. I didn't do a thing for Matthew. Got him into the best facility. And he'll get great care. But whether that'll make a difference? At least he's a chance. Boss, I know it feels like there's no point. There's only one reason I get up in the morning. Shane. And he's lucky to have you. But don't let this change who you are. Why not? Whoever I was, I wasn't good enough. I couldn't save her. You were plenty good enough. She had some bad luck. No, she was murdered. And the son of a bitch got away with it. So is that why you want the money? You want to even the score? OK. I know that you haven't been here a long time, and I'm not going to hold that against you. But I've been here since day one. 
The first issue of The Sun wouldn't have happened without me, and I don't need a uniform or a collection cart to do the kind of collecting that I do. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I overstepped, Mr. Kent. I just... I know how much Mr. Manning hates to be disturbed. You and me both. Let's just, um... Let's forget this ever happened. Great. Yeah, anything to keep Mr. Manning happy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Manning is gonna be very happy. Sometime real soon. I'm sure of that. After the funeral, guess who showed up? Blair and Taya. They came here to say how sorry they were. Sorry? Relieved is more like it now that Jack got off. Are you sure about that? Manning paid off a guy who lost everything. He sold out his own kid for money. The whole thing reeks. And then Manning sends, sends his women over here to make nice? And it's not like they're guilt-free. Where were they when Jack was torturing Shane and murdering Gigi? And now Jack is back partying with his friends. And Gigi... She's in a hole in the ground. And the only thing that's left of her is a tombstone with some stupid words that don't do her any justice and a kid who will never be the same. You know, we've been through a lot together, Balsam. But this is the worst. I'm not gonna ask you for much, but please, just hear me out. I understand what you're going through, Balsam. When my son died, part of me died with him. And I shut down. I wouldn't let anyone help me, not even Nora. I pushed her away, and I ended up losing her for a long time. And I got so sick that I almost died myself. And I don't want that to happen to you. And you've got to think about Shane right now and all this, this rage that you feel. I think that that's, a, that's grief trying to get out. And if you don't let it, if you use all of that anger to get even, then you're going to end up hurting yourself. Now, they'll get theirs. They always do. I don't think that Gigi would want you to worry about them. I think she'd want you to take care of yourself. Just think about Shane, because you're
you're all that he's got right now. And you've got to help him get through all of this. Balsam, right? You are his only ticket to a normal life. But you've got to let go. You hear me? I heard every word you said. Are you going to listen to me? Jack? I'm... I'm sorry. I, I didn't know it was you. If I'd known it was you, I wouldn't... I wouldn't hurt you, Jack. man disturb you please. you're gonna be the one picking up garbage unless you find me another satellite to buy of course sir and stay under the radar this time the last one i bet on was stolen right from under me sir, yes, yes sir yes sir Sure you're all right? The ER is very close. I'll be fine. I see this. Wow. What happened? I hit a wall with the origami cog thing. So I went out to get some food. I was only gone like three minutes. And when I came back, the door was locked. These doors? Yeah. And when I got inside, somebody hit me. But you didn't see who? It was from behind. Security. What the hell are you doing? I'm just looking for painkillers. Stay out of my desk. If you want painkillers, I'll get you some. Hey, it's Todd. Get up to my office. There's better break it. Yep. That's weird. What's weird? Someone messed with the computer when I was gone. Okay, that's one too many. What, what do you mean? Well, someone broke into your Aunt Vicky's place earlier, smashed a picture of me, and now someone's attacked you and messed with the computer. I know who's doing this to us. You want me to let go of the fact that Gigi was murdered and that her killer walked? Sorry, I can't do that. I won't. You're asking me to dishonor the woman I love, the mother of my child. That's not dishonoring her. Oh, okay. Then you try it. Oh, wait. I forgot. You, you, you've already forgotten about the fact that Matthew's head was bashed in and that he's lying in a rehab facility in Philadelphia and that he might not make it. How do you do that? How do you pretend it's all right? I didn't say that it was all right. Oh, but it's all right for me. That's not what I meant, Paulson. How about this? How about this? You track down the creep who ruined your son's life, and when the justice system gives him a pass, then we'll talk. Excuse me, Mr. Kent, could you please clean up my office after you're done with Mr. Manning's? Of course. Sure. You're right, I'll have to come back from Mr. Manning's office, though. Still a lot of trash in there. That's my security team. Forget security. What did you mean? Who's doing this to us? The same bastards that stole my saddle and origami cogs. I was on the computer for an hour. There's nothing about them. Mm, don't worry, they can't stay hidden forever. We'll get them. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Oh, I know you want to help. You can't. Balsam. Just go! <laughs> 